Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 61. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we are back. Another day, the penultimate day, hopefully, as long as everything goes well. This might be the uh, second to last recording session. Bloody hell, these cars are loud. Flippin' egg, where did you come from? Yes, you do, Jacob. <clears throat> we got some uh, new photos in the uh, Gran Turismo Escapes folder. Hmm. Oh, you saw one today in real life? That's a coincidence. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. The uh, Mustangs are quite nice cars. Um, the newer ones, for me, are quite nice. I'm not a great fan of the older Mustangs. If I'm going to be completely honest... I really hate the fact that they've called it um, a Mustang. The thing is, I wouldn't mind them making an electric Mustang if it still had the Mustang shape. Because the Mustang is known for ha having the Mustang shape. But Ford have completely ruined the Mustang brand. The Mustang name is just been tarnished forever. Because of the fact they decided to make an SUV with a Mustang badge. The Mustang was known for being a specific body shape. That's like trying to make a Formula One car and trying to pass it off as a NASCAR. It just doesn't work. It will never work and it won't be accepted. For that exact reason. Because it's not a Mustang. The Mustang is known for the shape of the body. I wouldn't mind an electric Mustang. I'm not against electric cars. Because we all know that fuel's going to run out at some point. We have to use electric. It really is horrible. But there's nothing wrong with an electric Mustang. Like, I don't mind the way... Even the marquee. The way the marquee looks, it's a not a bad-looking car. But it's got the wrong name. And the thing is, a name is a lot more important than people realize when it comes to, like, a video game car, whatever. There's symbolism behind the name. And the fact is, Ford just ruined that with a marquee. 
Like, they could have called it just the Ford Marquee and no one would complain. It's the fact that it's got the name Mustang on it. And it's not a Mustang. Or, if they made a car that looked like the Mustang and called it the Ford Mustang Marquee, a lot less people would complain still. Obviously, some people would complain, but... Uh, M-A-C-H-E. It's just Mark E. <laughs> but I know you can't turn this around. Uh, no. So it's. Ah, uh, how do I? M A C H dash E. So it's Mark as in like the. S Measurement of speed. And then with an E. Now, uh, just press the view button or press the M button, depending on whether you're on mouse and keyboard or uh, controller. If you just search up electric Mustang, you'll find it. Systematic. Yep, I did. Ba ba da ba ba da da ba 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 da. Bugger.
Oh, I love the sound of this engine. Bonk. One more lap to go. Let's see if we can make this our best lap. Yes, the Prius is another very disgusting car. Except in Gran Turismo. In which case you can put a massive wig on it and make it a supercar. And that way it is... It then becomes mediocre. <laughs> what is up, Wolfie? Welcome. How are you today? Yeah, I've cocked up that lap time. Is the Primus, yes. Uh, I'm doing good, thanks, Wolfie. Thank you so much for asking. The take is heavy with the thought of you. Oh, I would change. Never enough, I never give up. It's never enough, it's never enough. I'm never driving a Prius. <laughs> Holding on for some type of miracle. I'll be right there if you're ever alone. What a tune. 63 grand. I will take it. Move on to the next one. Alrighty-o, lads. Let's go. This is, uh, I believe, race number six. I'm not 100% sure, though, to be perfectly honest. Bloody hell. Old Mustang Marquee, yes. I wouldn't mind driving the Marquee, though. It's, it's not a bad car. It's just got the wrong name. It's like, um... What's it called? Project Cars 3. Shouldn't have been called Project Cars 3, because it's not a Project Cars game. Should have been something completely different. Talking about the normal Mustang. The new one's alright. The older ones, yeah, I can agree with you on that. The way that this car just grips around this corner is unreal. It's 
says it didn't grip around that one. Brush off my shoulder, but not because it's colder. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Too busy vibing with chat. Back, back. We got some good tunes on today. Oh, I just ain't being without you. Bonk. It is just another thing to break through. What a vibe. of the male selection. Oh, you're a girl. Cheers, Aaron. Appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, I've got the boobs, let's be honest. Man boobs. Bum, 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 bum. This car is so long. Look at it. The world is not around you. Technically it is. Because there's parts of the world that are around me here. I didn't even realise that's been a feature of Forza since, like, Forza 1. So if you shift down when you're in zero, at zero miles an hour, you'll instantly shift to first gear. I thought that was just something they added when Horizon came around because people kept crashing. I didn't realise that's been since the start. It does a little bit.
Nom 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 I can guarantee you Pandy's gonna be avoiding my stream today. Cause he bet a uh, a gifted sub <laughs> during the during his stream earlier. It's kinda funny. Me outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What it's like. What a tune. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Nobody. Be outside. But it's like. Wait, hey. Like a tidal wave. Oh, I didn't even realize that was the end of the race. All right, I'll take it. Save replay. Move on to the next one. Let's go. All right, here we go. Silverstone. I'm listening to a new album that I have never heard before. Hello. Pandy, you owe me a sub. <laughs> How are you today, Pandy? Welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what your username is on Twitch. <laughs> no worries, Pandy. I'm only taking the piss. Oh! Oh, that's a nutty drop. Oh! Wow. Oh, I've lost it. This is really good. This is a really good song. 
I can't even remember the name of the artist. But I followed them a while ago. Because I heard one song from them and was like, that slaps. Gaidra, that's it. This slaps so much. I'm sorry for Meg. Why are we sorry for me? I'm vibing. Oh, have you clipped the... You've clipped the clip with the song, haven't you? Unbelievable. In a minute, I'm a need a cinnamon woman a woman to bump me up. Ah! Well, you better get that clip famous. Get that clip popular. It'll be on that Be Right Back screen. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, no worries, Pandy. When Siege calls, Siege calls. Prefer the last drop, I'll admit, but not too bad. Come on, keep it on the track. There you go, not bad. Bum bum. Bum bum. Not bad.
Bum bum. Bum bum. There you go. Not too bad. Here we go, Coolio. And two more laps after this. This is proper. This isn't even non-copyright. There's copyright on this. Bam, 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 bam. This sounds good, though. This is a really good song. I'm not a great fan of NCS music, I'll be honest though, because uh, non-copyright sounds is one quite a fraudulent company as it is, because half of their sounds aren't actually non-copyrighted. Um, but also their music is just extremely s s samey. There isn't much variation to the music, they use the same instruments, the same beat pattern, the same everything. So, it doesn't sound fresh. Yeah, there's still been multiple instances where their content gets copyrighted on YouTube and Twitch, so... No matter what their policy is, there's still hidden stuff behind the scenes that isn't public. Where certain content is just getting copyrighted. Ah, sod it. At the end of the day, Twitch doesn't punish you for using copyrighted music because technically there is a fair use clause that allows you to put music in your content. Um, and Twitch just mutes it anyways. Mutes the audio, just doesn't put VODs up, so it's 
it's all right for that aspect of things. Obviously, YouTube's slightly different because you can't just mute a video. Because otherwise, there's no point in having the video there. There we go. Not bad. Save the replay. I think we've got two more races to go, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do. Alrighty, righty -o, Let's get going. Road America. This one should be fairly short. But it is six laps. Whoa, what are you doing? Unbelievable. I got a massive penalty already. That first corner was horrendous. I'm going to be straightforward with you. Now that's how you take that corner. Woohoo! That was extremely close. I did not like that. Too close for comfort. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. We got six people in the chat. Welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their day. Feel free to uh, let me know. Uh, quick question. Which is your favourite Forza game? Out of the uh, Xbox 360 games. Forza 2, Forza 3 or Forza 4? Or Forza Horizon. I'll let you have Horizon 1. Horizon 2 is classed as an Xbox One game, so... But yeah, I'm curious... Falls of four, a hundred percent. Fair enough. I, I will agree. Horizon one. <laughs> Fair enough. A <laughs> bastard. Horizon one, I think, was an experience like none other. I think the atmosphere of Horizon one was the best Horizon atmosphere. For Forza Horizon, but I could be mistaken. Hmm. <laughs> At the moment, yeah. Since Horizon came out, all of the Horizon games have been better than the Motorsport games. But I don't think any of the Horizon games can beat Motorsport 4 still. Like, Motorsport 4 was the best. It just seems like once they started doing Horizon, Motorsport just sort of took a back seat. Especially for Motorsport 5, 6, and 7. Ah... Uh... Mm. The first three ones were really good. First three Horizon games were good. I know you're not the best with words, but I think that's this song. No, it's not.
Let's see how. This car's ridiculously quick. Yeah, so, um, what we're doing for the Horizon games, I don't know if I've explained this yet. Oh. Crap. Um, I don't know if I've explained this properly yet, but, um, with the Horizon games, obviously all of the motorsport games is just complete the events. That's all Forza Motorsport is, it's just an event list. You've just got to complete it. Obviously... I've planned out the order that we have to do the events on Motorsport, but it still is just complete them all. That's the series done. Um, for Horizon 1, we're doing um, finish all the events, do all the showcases. Um, by doing that, we en then end up getting the final wristband, so it's not like we have to try and get that as a goal. Uh, Horizon 2 I haven't worked out yet, um, because I have not looked at Horizon 2 since in like three years. So I can't even remember how everything is structured, so I need to plan that out. Um, Horizon 3 is fairly straightforward. Just, I think the plan might be to complete all the events um, and then complete them all in a championship. To completely gold them. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet though. Ooh. Might be a lot of events to do for Horizon 2 then. As long as we get a check mark on every single box for Horizon 2. Because I, I think you, it comes with like a selection or something. Similar to how they did it for Motorsport 6. So. Uh, Horizon 4 is fairly straightforward. Complete all the events. Complete all the stories. Um, oh yeah, Horizon 3. You've got to complete all the bucket lists as well. Same with the Horizon 2. Bucket lists need to be done. Almost forgot about that. Uh, same story with the DLC. And then for Horizon 5, will probably have to be planned out once Horizon 5's run its course. Because it'll be about two years' time before we get back to Horizon 5 or anything like that anyways. It'll be a while. Do you know what, Wolfie? It's worthwhile doing it. Because as well, while you're doing it, I'll obviously be doing it as well. It might take me longer because I'm not doing it all in one go. You'll probably have more time to sit down and just play Forza. Yeah, it's well worth it. It probably wouldn't even cost you that much to get all the old games as well. I mean, to get all the old Forzas and an Xbox 360 would probably cost you about £150. Which, I mean, for 12 games and a console, not too bad. So you have the consoles anyway. So yeah, for the most part, 1, 3, and 5. Each one of those costs about... It's say fifteen pound do you get the three of those. Horizon two is twelve pound I think it cost me. So yeah. And what's really interesting is you could, technically speaking, if you wanted to get bonus points, complete um Horizon two three sixty edition and Xbox One edition. Because they're actually two slightly separate games. They have their differences. I'm obviously not going to do both of them because I don't see the point in that. 
But for bonus points, you could do that. Oh, come on. Don't hit me. Not fair, man. Thing is, I'm tasking myself to do these all in order. Because I want to experience, like, the progression of going to a newer and newer game. Hey, not bad. Yeah, we have a store in the UK called CEX, which is really useful for getting these used games. So, I get a load from there. There you go. Done. 11 minutes and 33. Oh, shattered. This is it. Bit of contact on the inside there. Yeah, CX is basically just eBay. Um, so it's it's not eBay. Because eBay is like... It's a used games and electronics shop. But it's an actual shop. Um, it's not... Uh, what's it called? It's all for used products, basically. Um, whereas eBay... It's listed by individual people, so... What's it called? You can't actually... There's no control over it, over what you're buying. But at least on CEX, you know you're getting something. And if it doesn't work, you can return it. There you go, not bad. Oh, man, I don't banana, man, would you ever take a chance with me? Bloody hell, this car is beautiful. Would you ever... Would you ever...
Whoa, that was quick. Trying to go through that death chicane that fast is risky. Because you make one mistake and it's all over. Lovely. Jubbly. Oh yeah, FM4, Porsche DLC, you can't actually buy the DLC anymore. And I'm not 100% sure that keys even work for 360, so... Which, by the way, we're only doing um, the non-DLC version of all the games up until Horizon 2. Because Horizon 2, I have all the DLC, uh, Motorsport 6, 7, all the DLC, Horizon 3, 4, 5, all the DLC. So. Ha ah, ha, I've touched my hands in a dream of golden scans from now on. You can forget our future plans. Bye, touch my hands and just turn it off the Set sail from since when I was young. <laughs> yeah. DLC shouldn't be. Because that's additional stuff. So technically speaking, in my eyes, isn't necessary to 100% a game. I don't actually think Motorsport 7 had any DLC races. Ruins or Rebels, Disciples and the Young. Not too bad. Two more laps left to go. Live touch my hands in a stream of golden scans from now on. You can't forget all future plans. Live touch my hands.
If you know what racing game this song is from, you are amazing. Ah. Uh, because uh, this was from a very favorite game of mine. Ah. Uh, Not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Ow. <laughs> yeah, shipping costs are a pain in the ass. Not bad. We're doing alright so far. Living in a rave. I feel like I'm living in a rave. I'm living in a rave. Like living in a rave. Not bad. Good finish to that event. I'll take it. Give me my 71 grand. Thank you very much. <sighs> what do we get? Infineon R8. Lovely. That car is so much quicker than the one we're driving at the moment, so we'll be using this for the rest of the event. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.